Welcome back, everybody. I have to know that, and I wanted to hear your take on it. Okay, here goes. Oh, this is all hypothetical, mind you, but imagine there's somebody for whom you have high expectations. They're trying their absolute hardest to meet those expectations. Okay. Now, this person receives an awful lot of special treatment from people so they can perform to the best of their abilities. Okay. So, what do you think those people will do if the expectations leveled on this person aren't met? Hey, Paula, that would be disappointed. Yep, that's right. When you work as a counselor, you always think, I have to help this person so their heart doesn't break. But that's easier said than done. This world really is a callous one. No matter how much positivity or dedication a person has, just a bit of influence from their peers can easily mess with their heads. Every time I'm confronted with such a situation, I can't help but grasp the limitations of therapy as a profession. You just have to keep trying, my guy. Oh, I'm not sick of this job or anything like that. Don't worry. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to get all analytical. What I meant was... If we want to truly help people stuck in a predicament like that, we need a fundamental solution. Like what? Hmm. Nothing really comes to mind at the moment. This is just a thought, but what if we got the phantom thieves to change our hearts? Hmm? Maybe have them shift our feelings so we won't lose to this unfair reality. It would ultimately be for the positive. Is that really a change of heart, though? <laughs> Good point. You're right. Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. I seem to have lost track of the time. I should be getting back to my work. Our conversation's been very enlightening. Thank you. And enjoy your vacation. Yes, sir. Exams are finally over. Uh, I'm so exhausted. Uh, I can get back to actually sleeping in peace. Hmm. You must have been studying pretty hard if it gets down to that. <laughs> nah, I was up late. <laughs> Locking off is just too much fun. I know, right? I kept cleaning my room instead of studying. I might even be too clean now. You two are perfect exemplars of what escapism can mean. <laughs> and I can only imagine what the end result will be. Whatever! It's over with now! Who cares about that anymore? What's real important is the Phantom Thieves' popularity. <laughs> Ain't it amazing? Kinda feels like our time's finally here. I've even heard people excitedly speculating about our next target. We will have to choose carefully. There's no need to hurry. We should spend some time thinking it over. That is right. We're all rushing. Hold up. The most important thing now is our celebration party. I hope you guys didn't forget. It's the fireworks festival on the 18th. I guess we're good meeting up in Shibuya, yeah? Let's say 5 p.m. You sure are on top of these kinds of things. <laughs> <laughs> I can uh, hang out with uh, Psych. Now for the weather. It seems we'll have to continue to localize torrential rainstorms all through next week. If you're heading outside, prepare for sudden changes in the weather. Oh, I guess I was gonna hang out with the teacher. Oh, I still can't. Cool. The time just flew by today, huh? Yep, that's why I'm gonna go hang out with her. Let's go to bed. Fuck! Fuck! Let's go to bed. No, not yet. Let's do it. Let's go to bed. Hmm? Hey, it's me. Sorry for calling this late. I just wanted to ask you about that summer festival. You remember? The one I told you about. I think so. Come on, man. Well, I know so, damn it! Come on, the whole thing with the kebabs? So, like... I completely spaced out on it until now, but the festival's tomorrow. So, you wanna go? I'll, I'll think about it. No way, man. It's tomorrow, there ain't time for that. Let's just go. 
Let's make sure we invite Yusuke too. He's always down to chow. I did remember they just said I might rain tomorrow though. But eh, whatever, it's not like it's gonna rain on a day like this. See you tomorrow. Uh, how would he know whether or not it'll rain? Jeez, all worked up over a silly little festival full of food of all kinds. Well, I suppose you deserve to enjoy yourself, but be sure to keep a little profile, all right? Yep. Let's turn in for the night. All right, let's get some sleep. Oh, and uh, no sleeping in. Got it. I'm gonna skip breakfast for this. God damn it! What's up? Mm. Why? Why? Why are you staring at my face? Ryuji, I have a favor to ask. <laughs> a favor? Sure. You need some money for food or something? Not this time. I've actually been mulling over a new battle tactic for a while now. Not... Oh, a new move? That sounds badass. I totally want What? It. Why does Ryuji get two well, moves? It's really a rough idea at this point, but... What do you think? Wasn't that, like... Way more detailed than some rough idea. <laughs> well, I don't deserve such praise. I would really prefer to add a splash of beauty to an otherwise barbaric battlefield, so to speak. Sick! So, uh, all we gotta do now is see how the star reacts to your idea, right? We should consult Jose about this soon. However, I can feel my appetite growing after describing my idea. Same here. Ryuji really gets two fucking special moves. That's bullshit. It's so hot. It's as if we're walking around in an enormous sauna. Whose bright idea was it to come here? <laughs> Yours. <laughs> Don't ask. Just look at that crowd. Smiling faces everywhere you look. With Why am I wearing jeans? Asking some of the visitors here <laughs> Why am I, hold on. Why am I wearing jeans and a long sleeve shirt that's rolled up at the sleeves? I'm sleep. A TV crew. Huh? We can't end up on TV, guys. We should grab our kebabs and get out of here. Ah, let's interview those three. Fuck. <laughs> hey, is she talking about us? We got a dip, bro. What the? What do we do, Jordan? Let's make a run for it. That would just make us appear even more suspicious. You right? They got us. Fuck. Well, that's okay. Oh, hell. Okay, I'm gonna ham it up, make some real cringy comments, so they can't use any of the footage. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. This is hot today, huh? Real cringy comments. Oh God. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. And if it's this hot in July, can you imagine just how insane the weather's gonna be in December? <laughs> uh, anyway, since you're here for the festival, does that mean you and your family are meat lovers? <laughs> oh no, please. Uh, I'd say that we're really lovers of fruit. Oh, and sweets. <laughs> please, please stop, I'm dying. I'm dying of cringe. <laughs> I'm dying a cringe. Well, uh, thank you very much for your Did time. that really just work? Whew, that was too close. That was truly cringeworthy. <laughs> right? Are you certain that they won't air any of it? I'm pretty sure she thought there was a broadcast disaster. We ought to be okay. I'm <laughs> positive we're not. <laughs> that, though, it's time to get some meat. Oh, right. I can bob. Lines for the food stalls were even more insane than the heat. Standing around in the sweltering heat was rather trying. And almost all the good stuff was already sold out. And I didn't even eat breakfast this morning. I'm starting to get lightheaded. Even still, an occasion like this seems to make everything taste delicious. How mysterious. What a great time. Even with the sticky sweatiness included. Well, we came all the way out here, so we might as well go check that thing out. What thing? I heard they're building some kind of huge ass stadium or something nearby. Wait, was that what it was? You don't know what you're talking about, do you? <laughs> the stadium. 
Well, such buildings often have intriguing architecture. I'd love to see it for personal reference. Yeah, then come on, let's go! So, that's it? You barely even started? We seem to be premature spectators. I guess this is what people call jumping the gum. Gun. Jumping the gun. Gun. Eh, there ain't nothing to do here. You want to go grab a bite somewhere? Sorry, I'm considering picking up more art supplies. I have a summer assignment to work on. Also, the summer festival drained my coffers. And if I did grab a bite, all I could order would be water and a hot towel. Ah, uh, well, in that case, probably ought to just call it quits for today. Hmm? Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? Do you think she's acting strange? You know, she did mention something about a meat earlier. Uh, ain't you guys headed home? Go on ahead without me, dog. Huh? Hmm. Well, see you then. Yes, catch you later. Hmm. Senpai? <laughs> Sup? What a pleasant surprise. Yes. Uh, did you come to see the stadium too? Same here. I needed to give myself a pep talk. There's something wrong. Sometimes when things get me down, I come here. To an unfinished building site? Although that doesn't really answer your question, does it? No, it doesn't. I know this may get in the way of your plans, but would you be willing to join me for lunch? A little red and puffy. Maybe best to accompany her. She's crying? Her eyes are naturally red though, so I like, can tell that, but... Ooh, that was delicious. <laughs> you sure packed it away? I'm always like this after a meet. In all honesty, I'd like to keep going, but any more will end up harming me. I mean, you're a, a little stick, so... So, the meat's done? Simply put, it was a disaster. Oof. I've been feeling like I'm getting back into the natural flow of things, thanks to you, Senpai. But when the moment of truth arrived, my body still wouldn't move the way that I wanted it to. Is it more of a mental thing? I think that's a big factor. Something similar happened to me in middle school, but back then, I had someone by my side that kept me going. Who do you mean? Oh boy. I have a younger sister. You do? We promised each other that we'd win international gymnastics competitions together. Uh oh. But this spring, she died Oof. in an accident. E. I promised her we'd take the gold for our routines across the world. But I can't stop worrying about my lack of improvement lately. I've really been throwing myself into practice. But I wonder if even that won't be enough. It's not over yet. Senpai. You're right. It's just getting started. You just keep on rescuing me, don't you? Okay, no more brooding. There are still more meets left this year. I'm going to start from scratch and train as hard as I can. Thank you so much for listening to all that. Now I feel like I've been recharged, mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> Apparently not body. Well, at least my mind and spirit are recharged. The best way to stave off hunger is with some vigorous activity. I'm going to jog home. Take that care. is definitely not a thing. <laughs> Who do you think they're going to target next? They only go after bad guys, right? We have nothing to worry about. Apparently, if you post a request in the forum, they'll do what you say. If they're taking out bad guys, it's fine by me. Keep it up. Why do we even need the place anymore? Ah, you're back. How could you, Slaughter? How could I what? 
If you're going to the summer vessel, why didn't you invite me? How does Mishima know about that? They're showing it on TV. <laughs> they actually aired his fucking bit. Something about it being hot in December or saying sweets are to die for. That's a bit with Sakamoto. There's a bit with Sakamoto saying some really crazy stuff. <laughs> Mission failed. Mission, what are you talking about? Look, my point is next time you guys go and have fun too, can I come along too? I'm the Phantom Thieves producer, you know. Are you kidding me? I hope Lady On and the others haven't found out. Hmm? Here's our come out at the photo from the Fremont Festival. At least that was the idea. No! <laughs> it's certainly evocative. Well, don't let it get to you. Shit happens. It's understandable given the heat. Your, perhaps your hands grew sweaty and it slipped. Next time we'll make sure we go somewhere we can actually agree. I'd fart into our establishment myself. Preferably one with ample seating and free wheel flows on water. Ugh, that'd be just to be at the diner again. And why not? It's a place of calm where one can also partake of delicious food. I mean, I guess, man, all this talk about food's got me hungry. A cup of ramen would hit spot. I believe I shall do the same. Fortunately, I recently acquired some high quality bread crusts. Sorry. I always forget how short my arms are as a cat. It's okay. Um, I really wanna. Then, please. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I will. Uh, I'll wait for a day. I have both the afternoon and evening off, and then I can. Um get both charm up and then I should have enough. Good evening. This is your first time coming to my stand, yes? Y yeah, um, a colleague of mine recommended you. He said that you can help fix my problems. Is that right? Yes. Of course. Fate is absolute. <laughs> so, um, the thing is, I'm engaged to be married. Next spring, I'll be tying the knot with a friend I've had on all the way back in preschool. <laughs> That's wonderful. Congratulations. So what's wrong here? Is it the date of the ceremony or perhaps the location of your honeymoon? Uh, um, no, it's not like that. The problem is, I'm not entirely sure we'll be able to get married. The truth is, the president of one of my major business partners offered me her daughter's hand. What? So, this is what it means to be weighed down by societal obligations. Do, um, do you think it would be bad if I declined that president's offer? Ha 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 ha. Please relax, the divine power will bring us the answer. Yes, I've seen everything. My, it seems you will face financial ruin if you decline. No, is this even breaking off my engagement is my only option? Um, Slaughter Sun, this might be a good time to demonstrate your powers. This man is bound by the fetters of societal obligation. How should he move forward? Follow his heart. Oh, that's a wonderful suggestion, though I guess anyone could have come up with that answer. And suddenly, what would you say to make him choose his childhood friend? Marriage kills individuality. Um. <laughs> Fine, the thieves may steal her away. What? Wait, wait, you really think someone else will go out? Will try to go after her? I guess guys would line up to date such an amazing girl. Well, I'm not going to let that happen. The only one, I'm the only one who can who can make her happy is me. I was a fool for her setting even for a moment. Uh, I'm going to marry her. Thank you so much. It's happened again. So you have altered fate once more. His fortune now states he will be quite successful. I had questioned your powers, but this is the third time. I have no choice. I must accept that fa fate and can can in fact be changed. You've proven that to me. As a sign of thanks for showing me the truth, I'll provide a special fortune service for you from now on. I really just want to talk to her about her fucking stupid holy stone. Temporarily increases money from battle. All right. You know, I never thought it would be possible to change this today. Are you perhaps a psychic? I'm not. Sorry. I see. I wish there was a way I could meet one. But for now, that wish only reminds me of my inability to change my own fate. I will forever be a monster. Oh, um. Okay, now hold on. 
Yes, I guess camping people does kind of make you a monster, especially when they're in dire need. But I mean, I don't know. Hey, hello, hello, Slaughter Senpai. Thank you so much for earlier. Now I can give it a hundred ten percent. I practice tomorrow. Practice already? Of course, if I rest, it will dull my senses. Next, me, I'll make it onto the winner's podium, I swear. I won't slip up again like I did before. But I'll have some great news next time I see you, I promise. Looks like Soshizawa is going to be okay now. Huh, <laughs> she sure had us worried. Right? Now, and then Tuesday, I will be... Today's the firework festival. Let's meet at Shibuya at 5. Hey Makoto, are you going to wear a yukata? I'm planning on it. Yukatas are a great part of the summer tradition that truly heighten a woman's beauty. I think I will wear mine as well. You've got one. How about you, Jordan? I don't have one. Hey, I know. Why don't you come with me? Why don't you come without your glasses? What's the point of that? I don't know. You don't get to see fireworks every day, so it'd be sad just wearing normal clothes. I was just thinking you might want to go for a change of pace. That sounds great. You should totally come without glasses. Well, you guys better not be late. Firework and Yucatas really add to the feeling of summer. Even later, I'm going to be wearing one. Calm down. Oh yeah, there's a fireworks festival today. If you're going, be careful. Those things get insanely crowded. Yes, sir. It's nice to watch the fireworks with the chief someday. We could watch them right here at LeBlanc. Actually, no, we couldn't. Hey, I saw some disturbing news online. It sounds like it'll be really bad if it turns out true. What's this about? Well, it seems like an insane group is getting ready to declare war on the Phantom Thieves. I was afraid to just hold on that information myself, so I wanted at least to tell you. That's actually all I have to say, though. Sorry to bother you in a day off. I don't know. Well, let's think about this after we get back. We don't have much time, so let's get going. Now for today's train news, today's headlines are Firework Festival tonight. Expect roads and transportation to be con congested for the entire day. Sudden weather change intimate. Be careful of sudden shifts in climate from afternoon to night. Wait, so all these people are going to the fireworks festival? I guess. Uh, this should be fun. Yup. <laughs> I actually came without my glasses. <laughs> I can't see. Are way too late. We must be taking time for them to put on the yukata. Oh, yukata, yukata, same thing. Why aren't you two wearing one? I don't own one. Got clothes like yukata. Man, you look way too normal. <laughs> he does, doesn't he? <laughs> Say that to me. <laughs> you look like you'd be naturally wearing one. Oh, by the way, what about him? I bet you got a big fat F on that. <laughs> Shut up. We we don't know that yet. <laughs> Are you going to the fireworks festival? That's right. Us too. Want to go together? <laughs> we. No, Yusuke is getting hit on. We're not. <laughs> Come on, let's go together. Do you happen to be a model? You look great in that yukata. Waiting around's a pain, so can we just go with these chicks? No, I'm not. No way. We'll both apologize to the others later. That's enough. <laughs> You're disgracing your yukata. You should be more aware of your woman. This is roasted. How could you? <laughs> Why don't you go after them then? 
So those are the kinds of girls you like, Ryuji. Damn, Makoto, you looking fine. Uh, well, no, that, that, that's... You know, Yusuke's such a pretty boy. He is really missing out because of what he says. Why are you guys roasting right now? I guess. But he's more likable since he stays true to his ideals. I said no way. I'm good. I'm in the clear. More than somebody I know. <laughs> I heard that Ryuji's pretty much failed his exams. Oh? <laughs> Mona, you little... Hey, it's gonna get crowded if we don't get going. Agreed. But, man, you both look amazing in Yukata. <laughs> Talk about Japanese beauty. I think you need help. Hmm. We're just trying to get out of the rain, but how did it end? Is this triple seven? This is triple seven. I recognize that counter. I work here. I guess everyone had the same idea. Well, what's up? Mm. I think I just saw someone I know. You mean the girl in that black car? Well, she's got a ride. Hmm, <laughs> a limo. Oh, time to show your skills, Mona. I need you as a car. It's not possible in the real world. Dumbass. It's cold. The festival's been cancelled. This sucks. I made such a commotion with the public. And this is what we get? Lame. Aren't heroes that lurk in the shadows boring? That's how it should be. I like the shade. What are you, Moss? <laughs> the world with a loud bang like a huge firework and again we aren't gonna find someone bigger than Kanashiro that easily the rain is letting up though it's regrettable we should go our separate ways for today yeah let's go home I need to make sure I get every chance with Makoto I can because I am gonna so romance tell me, no matter what <laughs> um I have nothing more to say to you about I see. In that case, I have ways of making you talk. <laughs> huh? What's that supposed to mean? Thanks for the drink. Damn. Hey, hey, we're not done here yet. The fuck? What's wrong? It's nothing. It's past closing time. Clean up the place. Okay. Are those bags of trash? I hope those aren't bags of trash, because if that is, that's gross. On to other news. The international hacktivist group Medjid has released a statement to the Phantom Thieves. Mm -hmm. These are the details of the message that are posted on Medjid's website. To the Phantom Thieves causing an uproar in Japan. Do not speak of your false justice. 
We do not need the spread of such falsehood. We are the true executors of justice. Phantom thieves again? However, we are magnanimous. We will give you an opportunity to repent your ways. If you agree to a change of heart, we will accept you as our own. If you reject our offer, the hammer of justice will find you. Justice, huh? We are Mejit. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. Akechi-san, why do you think this announcement was made at this time? I don't know the details, but there's no doubt that they were provoked by the Phantom Thieves. Whether it's a sense of rivalry, or a simple attention grab, given the recent trends, I cannot say. Regardless, it's quite a nuisance. A nuisance? Both Mejed and the Phantom Thieves are nothing more than groups that uphold an egoistic justice. Damn, dog. What a stupid thing they're getting riled up on. Phantom Thieves, huh? What in the world are they? You know about them? Who? I'm the one asking you. Don't return a question with another question. Well, it's about time I go home. Make sure you lock the place up. Also, about the stuff in the fridge. Well, I guess it's fine. Just don't use too much. It's possible that more people like these will continue to appear due to their influence. In that respect, the Phantom Thieves face a very serious crime. Hmm. Hackers declared war on the Phantom Thieves? This game ain't interesting. But why? Do the Phantom Thieves know? Did the Phantom Thieves do something to them? Imagine it's really scary. I'm looking forward to seeing the fan how the Phantom Thieves would deal with it. Me too. <laughs> what the fuck? I have a new message in the Phantom Thieves chat room. We gotta talk about Medjed. I mean those guys people online are going nuts over. Medjed. That name seems to come from those obscure gods in the year Egyptian Book of the Dead. I saw the news too. For some reason they speak we they think we speak of false justice. But then how exactly did you want to speak of regarding Medjed? Well, why don't we go after them as our next target? What a sudden suggestion. I mean like bad hackers some technically they're crackers. <laughs> Those who use the internet to illegally access and alter data. Medjet is an organized group of such people recognized by a larger international community. So they operate on a global scale? That makes them even bigger than Kanashiro, right? Then it's settled, our next target is going to be Medjet. I wonder if the nav will put a hit if you put Medjet in. Alright. That's impossible. Yes, that name has to be a pseudonym. We don't even know how many people Medjet is. Oh. Wouldn't we get at least one member's info if we try and look into it though? Even if we did, how would we discover the location? The only confirmed presence of Medjet has been online. I think great problem simply finding their keywords. Unless you have any more ideas, Ryuji. Hello? Seems he has suggested this, but pretty much not into it. Come on, we can't back now. People are all excited about it. Our application is going to plummet if we don't face that shit. That is true. If we remain silent, people will believe we simply chose to run away from the matter. Medjet has taunted us publicly after all. If they are criminals, we cannot just let them be. Yeah. And we don't have any other targets right now either. Hey Jordan, let's talk to Mishima tomorrow. Not Mishimi, Mishima. This is more of his thing. Let's do that. Yeah, also Makoto, try seeing if your sister has any info on them. It's highly unlikely, but sure. World-class target, huh? If we can change Medjed's heart, it'll most definitely affect Mementos. Mm hmm? I forgot to post the photo I took today. Damn! Hey, not bad. Right? Now I'm natural with this candy... Candy, it's candid. I'm, I'm hoping for your sake that you what, that was intended to be candid photography. It's a shame about the rain, but at least means today was a little more memorable. Yeah, next time we really can't miss the fireworks. Agreed. Still, it was almost impressive how swiftly the weather turned terrible. How oh, so simply afraid to bring Wayne wherever he goes. 
Damn, I thought it looked fine. Let's get the fuck out of here. God damn it. Oh, I can read. I don't think I have any books, though. Uh, but I'll raise your max to go to your train. Okay. Right? I want to see more of my photo. The secret of craftsmanship is all about mindset. I'm not a big answer. Maybe I was trying to say that it's important to stay motivated. Oh. So you finished the ABCs of crafting. I had my doubts about this book, but the better, the better half of it was a worthwhile read. Right. Number of times you can count has increased. Awesome. <sighs> Everyone's talking about Medjed. What the hell is it? You don't watch the news much, do ya? Are they actual network of activists? They target corporations doing shady business and cause chaos. A subway company server thing? That was Medjed trying to find out who caused the train accident. So they're like good guys? Uh, no way. Some liking them them to digital Robin Hoods, but they snoop through emails and destroy data. They're no better than criminals. Hey Jed, those guys come to be the modern day Robin Hoods. They dare call themselves heroes out of those attacks. Pfft. They're fighting Medjed next? The Phantom Thieves are amazing. I don't want to hear about justice for some damn from some shady hackers. I don't care what happens as long as it's interesting. Oh, our grades are out. How'd you do? Damn, I'm dead. Phew, I'm above the average. That's the real dividing line, my balance is safe. There's a little Yeah. Oh, and that went to my charm. Oh baby. Maybe tonight I'll go to the bathhouse. We're busy. It's not like I can focus on studying. Hey, it's not my fault my scores suck, right? It's your fault, my guy. You don't gotta throw the truth right in my face like that. <laughs> Anyways, there's something more important here. Mishima. You wanna ask me something about the internet, right? Yep. I'm gonna be straight with you here. Do you know who Medjet is? <laughs> you weren't kidding about being direct. Well, I suppose the news about Medjet and the Phantom Thieves has caused quite the commotion. They started out as hackers of justice, but now they only look out for their own self-interests. That's all I know. They were the group I texted him about yesterday. I see. Nobody's sure who actually belongs to Medjet. Well, it looks like things will be exciting this summer. It'll be the Phantom Thief's world debut, no? Dude. Don't worry. I'll be rooting for the Phantom Thieves. I'll get the forum mobilized as well. Now, if we're done talking here, I really must be going. I'll see you guys later. So that was fruitless. Wonder if anyone else got any info. Mishima was pretty useless. You guys got anything? I tried asking my sister, but it seemed as though she didn't know much, very much about them. She doesn't specialize in cybercrime after all. I tried looking at the two, but it didn't come up with anything. Oh, uh, really? Just no leads. Hmm. Our opponent is truly elusive. No luck. Medjet, huh? It seems like we won't be able to deal with him by ourselves. I 
I know summer vacation is due to begin next week, but I have an unfortunate announcement. We'll be holding an emergency assembly on Monday the 25th. Please come to school that day. No. Oh. Settle down. God damn it. We've had many strange incidents. The psychotic breakdowns, students being dragged into crime rings. Hence, Principal Kobayakawa has instructed all teachers to caution the student body. Well, this is inconvenient for us too, you know, having to find things to warn you about so suddenly. Oh, we're gonna find Medjed. I'm not sure no matter how hard I look, I look online, all I find are just unreliable rumors. They have carried out corporate terrorism and still somehow managed to elude arrest somehow. Oh, you in a lot of trouble, but this tur is turning out to be a much greater ordeal. Did we bite off more than we can chew? I'm not sure. Right? There's no knowing who we're actually up against if we can't see the full picture. We don't even know whether it's a single individual or a large conglomerate of people. And even if we do manage to get a lead, what do we do from there? Damn, this stuff's not going so good. That's probably why my exams are going to shit too. You know those are two separate things, right? Good. <laughs> Clues on Medjet, huh? Oh, are they gonna let the dog off the leash? Oh, baby, let the dog off the leash. As long as my co Fuck! Okay, that's fine. I'll go to the bathhouse. I've identified the student from the red light district. She's a third year. Eco Taco. I'm thinking of speaking to her directly about this. Can you sit on it too? Oh, hell yeah. How about thank you? It feels good to hear that from you, Jordan. I'll call, I will call her to the student council. Wait, why are we calling her there? <laughs> Wait, what? What happened? Excuse me. That is not her. You've been spending time in the red. Oh! Nah, I remember. You're not talking about the chick in the black car. She's talking about that chick we saw going to that shady ass. You've been spending some time in the light district, haven't you? Both myself and Shadokun here saw you there. Based on where you were heading, we assumed you were working at a school called the After School Salon. How is it working there? Uh, what do you mean? It's just a normal cafe. They make me like a, they would make me like a costume and stuff, but that's it. Oh, and I don't have to do anything weird if you know what I mean. It's all totally legal. Hmm. hmm, so you're sure nothing strange is going on? Yeah, be out. The worst I get is some weird guys drooling over me. I see. Beyond that, though, why are you working there? How's your financial situation? Uh, fine. I mean, I can just ask my parents for cash whenever I want. Uh, oh, I see. But they totally bug me about what I'm buying if I did that. That's why I work at the salon. I get some good spending money. Plus, the guys who come in there are like mega pamper me. Mega pamper. It's nice having people treat you like you're special, you know. I'm sure a super honest student like you gets that all the time, though. Anyways, are you gonna tell me? You even brought a witness today. Hold up. Doesn't that mean you two were in Shinjuku together? What's up with that, Miss Prez? So what if you were together? Hey, hey don't say things that could be taken the wrong way. It was simply an errand I asked him to accompany me on. That's it. At any rate, don't mind him. As for you, I don't plan on telling anyone. Ah, I get it. So we're like protecting each other's secrets? Oh crap! And I just realized your boyfriend's that rumored criminal. You're a real badass, Miss Prez. Well, um. I told you, that's not how it is. I was just worried you were getting wrapped up in some shady business, so I asked him here for support. Hmm, eh, whatever. By the way, I was wondering, is that a Buchimaru kun pencil case? Mm -hmm. Huh? You know Buchimaru kun? I had like tons of Buchi stuff back when I was a kid. What a blast from the past. Wait, why is it so beat up? Well, I was giving it to you when I was still in elementary school. I'd like to buy a new one, but they stopped selling Buchimaru kun merchandise. Oh my god, this is too hilarious. The student council president has an adorable pencil case. My image of you has done like a complete 360 today. 
Uh, isn't that a full circle? Uh, I don't know. I'm just really surprised. You really don't look like the kind of people who'd be into that stuff. I mean, I always thought you were kind of like a robot, but I guess you had had to get you know you better, you know? Hey, why don't we trade phone numbers? I'd really like talking more about Buchimaru-kun and your boyfriend. Oh, um... Oh, um, okay. Wait, he's not my boyfriend. And saved! Oh crap, is it this late already? I gotta get out of work. I'll send you a ton of pics of my Buchimaru-kun collection later though. Bye bye! My god. <laughs> she was all over the place. Honestly though, I'm in shock. I thought, she thought I was a robot. <laughs> Beep boop. <laughs> what an asshole! Don't let it get to you. I won't. I'm aware of how one could perceive me that way. You know, I believe what Taka, Taka san said about me is how others think it will. I thought I had changed after that incident with Kanashiro, perhaps it wasn't enough. On the side, it was almost inspiring to meet someone so distinct from myself. I'm going to try to look at things a little more differently from now on. Well. And well, I think that help will break me out of my shell. I hope you're ready. I'm going to show you how useful an honor student can really be. A card resolve from Makoto. Negotiating with a martial arts using shadow fails, you can try again. All right. I'll be able to speak with Takao san more than I have a contact info. Perhaps I can corrupt misconceptions about you. As always, I'll let you know if anything important happens. <laughs> that, that I'm your boyfriend. <laughs> Hello, thanks for sitting in with me today. It really did help. I got a message from Takao san earlier. Teku. Te yeah, Takao. She turned out to be quite a fan of Buchimaru kun. It was crazy to see a picture of her entire collection. She even has a bunch of Barchimaru kun emoticons. Sounds like you two get along. Huh, I guess you're right. I didn't expect a bond over somebody this, though. I'm pretty shocked, to be honest. Though I'm still a little worried about that story she works out. I'll try a little harder to get through to her about it. I might come. I might come to you for more advice later. For now, I'll let you go. Talk to you later. Uh, Summer break uh, soon, right? Must be nice being a student. So I looked in the Medjed. Did you find anything? As you know, Medjed is that appear is a god that appears in the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Huh? Its name apparently means the Smiter. Seems nobody's actually sure that Medjet is a real name. On top of that, almost everything else about him is unknown. Even his form is unattainable. An instinct god that sh flies through the sky and shoots from his eyes. He is truly, he truly is an elusive being. Dude. Everything about his existence is shrouded in mystery. Wait! <laughs> Fundamentally speaking, the ancient e Egyptian art always depicted gods drawn on the side profile. However, Medjet is facing straight ahead in all the pictures of him. Taking all this into account, he seems to be quite the alien being. Well done. Hey, this one may be impressed about. I hope the mission was at least somewhat useful. Indeed it was. Should I look into it more? That's enough, thank you. So we still don't have any tangible clues. Nope. I have a special menu just uh clean up with the usual horsepower. Yeah, I'll go ahead and call. I'll go and request her. I still need to get my uh, my charm up to speak with Tay, but um, I'm interested in her story. Hey, you know how you listened to my story the other day? You listened to my secret. I'm feeling more at ease since then. I've never been able to tell anyone about it, so I figured I should actually do some housekeeping nice to say thanks. <laughs> Sorry, I need to take a break. Want to rest a bit? I'm so touched that you care about my well-being, Jordan. Ugh, I'm at my limit. I'm so exhausted. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm beat. I can't stop coughing. You are right. Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> God damn. Got the Rona? <laughs> just kidding. I just wanted to slack off a bit. I mean, there's nothing left for me to hide from you, so the truth comes out, you know? Now that I think about it, I'm glad you're the one to find out about me being a maid. Are you going to be... Are you going to be alright in this dusty room? 
Now if you've been eating well, you need to eat fresh vegetables and none of that instant stuff. Vitamins are super important. You're going to turn like me if you don't take care of yourself. Ugh. I guess I should get more sleep. I feel all achy. You need to go to the doctor. Takasi's. Wait. No, 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 no. Her name just looks like it. But the, that chick that Makoto was talking to has a different name. So they need more money, so I had to give my I had my boss give me more shifts. I had to beg them him for them though, but are you okay? Oh it's fine, nothing you should worry about. Besides, I feel more at ease now that I have no woman who knows what about what I'm going through. I'm talking about you. I know. <laughs> so I was you to or make curry or tools. Interesting. Alright. Uh oh, time's up. <laughs> I have to go to my next job, so I'm going to head out. Hey, she I'll needs. See you later, then. Thank you for using our service. She needs to go get that. See a doctor. Oh, is this Jordan? Thank you for using our service today. So I guess it's a good thing I splurged at the doctor's. I finally got some cough medicine that works. Hey, you gotta do some cleaning and ventilating on your own, even when I'm gone, okay? If you neglect so that, it really makes you more likely to get sick. How are you feeling, though? Who, me? I mean, I'm tired, but that's nothing new. Wait a minute, you're supposed to, I was supposed to be talking about you. Don't change the subject. Anyway, if you do get sick, I'll look after you anytime, so don't please forget to request me. Yeah, I finally got rid of that cough, now I have these headaches and shit. You need to go to the fucking doctor. Times like these are why we invented energy drinks. I just got a chug. No, you're gonna kill yourself. You need to see a fucking doctor. Igor? Igor! Hey Igor, are you gonna help me out, dog? Seems you've got your share of problems, inmate. Yep. To think you would relax under such circumstances. Either you're quite bold or quite foolish. A little bit of both, Justine, I'd say. One with an unseen form. Hmm. It seems you've been targeted by troublesome company. Yeah. It's big news, Igor. <laughs> I've been enjoying this endless dispute over justice. However, it will soon come to an end, and through the appearance of an unexpected force of all things. Engaging with formidable enemies is also part of your rehabilitation. I ask that you overcome this. After all, you must hone your powers and become a magnificent thief. Okay, so Igor believes in me. It's really summer now. I get sweaty just walking a little bit. I didn't think Medjed would pounce on the Phantom Thieves. Interesting things keep happening this year. The influence of the Phantom Thieves knows no bounds. I underestimated it, honestly. I wonder what the public thinks of this. Are they entertained? Or perhaps inconvenienced? Inconvenienced. People with common sense would think that. Is that your personal opinion, too? Still, the vast majority are simply entertained by it. They've stopped thinking critically altogether. So this is what the public thinks. Oops. I don't have time for a conversation. My attendance has been poor due to interviews lately. Thank you for your valuable opinion. I'll see you around. There hasn't been any news on the Phantom Thieves versus Medjet Showdown. Which one then will come out on top? There are both other criminals just pretending to be heroes. If you ask me, Medjet causes way more trouble. They attack every company they set their sights on. Yeah, see. Well, I just hope something happens soon, but you gotta tell me. Who do you think will win? Ah, oh, I thought they were gonna let the dog off the leash. Hey, your phone was buzzing earlier. Was it? I've gotten a lot of messages from an unknown account. 
Nice to meet you. I'm the one they call Alibaba. I want to ask you something. You're a phantom thief, aren't you? Can you really steal hearts? Why does he know that you're a phantom thief? Is one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? I fucking hope not. There's someone whose heart I would like you to steal. But I'm not asking for charity. Let's make a deal. You wish to know about magic, correct? I can give you information on them if the change of heart is successful. If you so desire, I can take care of them as well. Do you believe in my skills? I have to track down their accounts just as I have with yours. But this is all I can prove at the moment. I'm prepared the necessary tool on my end. Look forward to it. Shouldn't you respond to it? Who is this? I can't find their account to send a response to. All I get back is an error message. You can't reply back. No. Yeah. And this is where I will stop for today's court. I will see you.